Preparing for the worst and hoping for the best. Good evening. I'm Ann Emmerich. And I'm David Andrews. Tonight, the Jackson County Board of Commissioners will decide whether or not to upgrade the county's emergency sirens. News 10's Aaron Bowling is live in studio with the reasoning behind this request. And David, way up in the sky, you might not notice these sirens unless it's the first Saturday of the month or an emergency. Right now, the Jackson County Emergency Management Team has to rely on citizens to tell them when the sirens are broken. They say it's time to change that. Jackson County Emergency Management says it's time to upgrade their sirens, but it has to be approved by the county's Board of Commissioners first. The potential upgrade would allow them to receive alerts when sirens are broken, instead of waiting for citizens to report it after monthly tests. On Monday, uh, we have voicemails or emails saying, hey, it didn't, didn't go off again. They say the signal being used right now is very weak, which could be the cause of sirens failing to go off. The new upgrades would improve the signal and therefore the reliability of the sirens. Um, we want to be able to alert the citizens to uh, to avoid any you know, injuries or any damage or any um, loss of life. Essentially, the Jackson County Emergency Management Team wants to add little devices that would turn these sirens into smart sirens. Another nice thing about it is we can have other agencies send off that alert. Say we are completely down here in Jackson County, they would have the ability to, uh, to activate those alerts. Right now, the emergency sirens in Jackson can only be set off at their central dispatch. The upgrades would allow the sirens to be set off from many different devices and locations. We always want to be able to make sure that we can set something off or do something even though something else failed. They also say the change would save Jackson County money by having all of their alarms on one system instead of the two separate systems they have now. The Jackson County Board of Commissioners will be deciding on this decision at their meeting tonight according to their agenda. Live in the studio, Aaron Bowling, News 10. All right, Aaron, thank you. Turning